Hey everybody, welcome back to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and everything in between, if it's a craft you like, hang around. I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about it eventually. Um, and this might be a channel you like. So stick around. Today is my next episode of my homage to Crystal over at Bag -A Day. So many people that I watch and talk to on um, YouTube have learned from Crystal. I've only been crocheting since Mother's Day 22, and I have quite literally learned everything I know about crocheting and yarn and all of that stuff. I've learned it from Crystal. So I decided when I was doing my channel, I would like to do an homage to Crystal <clears throat> and show her or show everybody how much I've learned from her. So I've been doing as many of Crystal's swatches as I can or stitches as I can and I've been making swatches out of them. For right now, I'm hanging them on here and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but I wanted to put them nicely on display so that um, I can take a look if I'm making a project, I could be like, all right, let me see, what's this stitch? I like this one and I can use the stitch. So I have a bunch of them for you today that I've been working on and I'd like to go over them with you. Now, all of these, I will put links below to Crystal's page. I'm not gonna individually link each one because that's a lot, but I'm going to go to Crystal's page and I'll link her page. And all you have to do is look for tutorials She's got a thousand of them. Like, I'm not exaggerating. She's got over a thousand of them. So um, all of these came from her. If you look for it, and if I give you the name and you look for it and you can't find it, please let me know. Then I will message you and I will let you know where I found it. But um, yeah, so let's jump right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten swatches today to share with you and I have to admit that when I first look at some of them I'm like oh that seems difficult I don't know if I want to try it but again if any of you have learned from Crystal you know she makes it so you can do it not only that she encourages you through the whole thing you've got this I can show you and <clears throat> she shows you enough times that you get it and and she's just a great teacher so anyway Let's start with the silt stitch. So the silt stitch is a one row repeat. Beautiful, right? It's made up of a double crochet and a single crochet. And it is a one row repeat. I think I said that already. And it's any, your, your base chain can be anything divisible by two. So you can make it as big as you want. You can make, you know, tiny as you want, big as you want. And Crystal always tells you how to do the multiples so you can make it into whatever you want. So that is the silt stitch. Up next is this one I fell in love with, mining for diamonds. Look at that. You can see the diamonds. And as I said, it looks difficult and it looks hard but once you get it boy that's pretty once you get into it you can see she just makes it so easy so the mining for diamonds is actually a four row repeat okay um and it's base chain it can be done in multiples of 10 plus three that now this next one i actually did see another content creator using this next stitch and um, I got to be honest, I tried to follow along with her and I got lost. And I was like, okay, no, I can't do it. So when I saw it on Crystal's list, I'm like, okay, if anybody can show me how to do this, it's Crystal. This is the double loop. It's all, there you go, you can see it that way. Every stitch is two loops. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh, oh, here we go. 
And then I fell in love with it. And I'm like, okay, wait, I want to make a pillow. I want to make a rug for my camper. I want to do a runner for my camper. This would be beautiful down the middle of my camper. Absolutely. So this one is just a two row repeat. And it's super easy because the rows in the middle are double crochet. So you've got the loop row and you've got double crochet. Easy, easy, easy. And this can be done in any number of stitches. So your base chain, any number of stitches. So of course now I'm thinking, okay, the, the rug for the camper, I don't want it to be too long, so I'm gonna break it into two rugs for the camper. <laughs> anyway, so there it is, the double loop, love it. And you give somebody this, they're gonna be like, whoa, you made that? And again, Crystal makes it so easy. You can be like, yeah, I did. I made that. <laughs> so definitely that one's going on one of my favorites lists. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is the Meadow Stitch. Very pretty. Oh, there's my tail. <laughs> tuck your tails. I'll be honest, I didn't tuck my tails on these. So the meadow stitch is a two row repeat and it's done in any even number of stitches. So um, again, make it as long or as short as you want and it's super easy. You could make, this would be great for like dish towels, washcloths, stuff like that. I'm thinking, make it a little bit wider, but a little bit shorter, put a loop on it and hang it over the faucet in the kitchen and you've got a, a wash, you know, a dishcloth. So that's nice, pretty. This one, the single crochet ribbed cluster. Absolutely amazing stitch. Looks the same on both sides. Again, would be great for a kitchen towel. Make sure you use cotton, which I did on this one. <clears throat> and it, it comes out really, it's very sturdy, but depending on you know what yarn you use, you could make that into anything. That would be a really nice scarf or even um, a headband. I know a lot of people don't wear hats, but they can wear a headband. And if you did this maybe with woolies, um, that would be really nice. Keep your ears nice and warm. So again, this is a one row repeat and it's done in multiples of three. <clears throat> so your base has to be di divisible by three. I like it. I really do. Okay. What do we got going on next? This next one, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not positive. The Glover stitch. G-L-O-V-E-R, the Glover Stitch. It is a one row repeat and it's any even number. I must have been in a clustery kind of mood yesterday. Because you can see how this and there's the other side of it. So pretty, right? Again, great for pretty much whatever you want to make with it, but look at this. Imagine snuggling under a blanket with that or putting on a nice shawl made of this or a poncho. Love it. So that's the Glover, 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 G-L-O-V-E-R. Let me know if I'm saying it right. Okay, what is next? Now this one I really, really enjoyed doing. When I first saw the tutorial of it, I'm like, there is no way I'm going to be able to do this. But then of course, the wonderful teacher that she is, you'd see the yarn started to change right here. I'll turn it upside down so you can't see that. This is the chain link stitch. How fun is that? It really looks like that's there. It really looks like a chain link fence. Yeah, I was using um, yarn. There we go. The color just started to change. But how pretty is that? I mean, can't you just picture the chain link fence? I certainly can. Here, I'm gonna pull that off. Isn't that silly? It catches my eye. It. it distracts me. But look at that. 
that is so nice. And again, it's one of those stitches where it looks so difficult and it's not. So it is a four row repeat. That's the back. Here's the front. And it is done in multiples of six plus three. So your base chain is six, 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 six. When you're done, add three and you're ready to go. So that is the chain link stitch. I love it. And then this one might be my favorite of this bunch, just because the half double is my favorite stitch. Well, now that I'm learning so many more, it's one of my favorite stitches. <laughs> so this is the knotted half double. There's one and there's the other side. I gotta figure out my lights, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not helping, that helps a little bit. There you go, knotted half double. Uh, let's see, any number of stitches whatsoever. So when you're base, base chain, you just make it as long as you want. And then it is a one row repeat. So this might be my favorite of the group. Again, very simple, but it's really got pretty, pretty definition in it. I could see a nice sweater made of that. Excuse me, my little tickle in my throat, drinking cold coffee. I just got done recording the uh, coffee with Kim, so I'm still drinking my coffee and it's cold. But yeah, so this is my favorite one of today's bunch. And then the last, nope, not the last. So here is the extended single. This is a fun one to do. Really, f I once you get going on this, it's just like your brain just kicks in and you're just like, ba -ba 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 -ba. I love this. Um, I have a cardigan that I think if I remake it with this stitch, that would be beautiful. A nice, that would be a nice summer cardigan, you know, nice and breezy, but it's the extended double. Again, made with any number of stitches. So you make this as long as you want, as short as you want, as wide as you want, doesn't matter. And it is a one row repeat. <clears throat> so those are definitely my favorite because I find that when I'm doing, when I'm doing all my swatches, <clears throat> excuse me, I get to the point where I get confused and I don't know why I have to keep rewinding and watching Crystal over and over again no matter how long I could do, you know, an eight foot project, but I got to keep going back because for some reason, my brain will just not retain anything more than a two row repeat. So this one took me, even this little swatch took me, I had to go back because this one is a four row repeat. I had to go back, start it over, go back, start it over. It's worth it, but I'm finding that one and two row repeats are my friends. <laughs> and last but not least, this one did not come from Crystal. This one came from inside my own head. So I was working on the silt stitch. <clears throat> and I decided to alter it a little bit. So instead of a double crochet and a single crochet, I did a half double crochet and an extend, extended single. And it came out like this. Now I'm gonna put them next to each other. Here is the silt stitch. This is the silt stitch that I learned from Crystal. You can see nice and tight. And then here is my mystery stitch. Not sure what I'm gonna call it or if it already has a name. It might already have a name. But you can see there's a little, it's a little bit flimsier. Is that the word I'm looking for? This one's a nice solid and this one's a little bit more airy. You can see the, the more prominent holes in between. But I really like this one. So I'm not sure what it's called. I just know that I 
did a little deviation. I deviated, yeah, a little deviation from the silt stitch and I came up with my mystery stitch. Um, so if you know what it is actually called, please let me know. It is not the silt stitch, it is silt 2.0. <laughs> so it is the half double and the extended single <clears throat> is what this is made out of. And I really like it, it comes together nicely. So there you have it. There are my swatches for the weekend. Um, again, if you need to learn anything, to do anything, to do with crochet or yarn or <clears throat> anything you need to know about the craft of crochet, head on over to Bag of Day at Crystal. She knows it. She's done it. She may have even invented it. I don't know. In my mind, she invented it. Um, in my mind, Crystal is the one I go to first, no matter what I'm looking for. And it's really fun to do this tribute to her because this doesn't even scratch the surface of everything she's taught me. So there you go. My homage to Crystal over at Bag of Day for the week. Thank you so much for stopping by Fortunate Creations. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not, and please share, 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 share. Uh, just in case there's somebody that might not see me in their feed um, that you think might enjoy this. I've had a really great feedback on this episode or, the, or this um, playlist that people really like the idea of doing the stitches. and Because sometimes you just want to crochet and you don't want to do a whole project, but you want to practice. So there you go. Practice away. Go on over and see Crystal over at Bag O'Day. She is the greatest of all time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.